Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it is my joy to visit with you again. Yesterday was Veterans Day. I wonder what that means for each of us. In a wonderful devotion that I read in our daily guidepost, Jolinda Strandberg gave me much to think about as she wrote. She said, Growing up, I used to think of Veterans Day as a celebration, a holiday, a day off from school. Now, who, what kid doesn't like that? Because I have since been blessed to witness the personal sacrifices of those defending our nation on a daily basis, I now know that Veterans Day is a day to honor, not simply to celebrate, to honor their service, honor their sacrifice, honor their lives. Service members pour out their lives in fidelity to our nation. We are called to respect that fidelity. Veterans Day is personal almost for everyone. In our family, both of our fathers served in the armed forces. Several of my cousins did. And also, I served in the Air Force. Growing up, I was especially touched by my cousins, Brad and Ed, who were a few years older than me, and they served during the Vietnam era. They gave much for their country, lost many comrades in their units, and carried battle scars both physically and emotionally that changed them. Romans 13 Verses 6 through 8 instructs this way. For the same reasons you also pay taxes for the authorities are God's servants, busy with this very thing, pay to all what is due to them, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, Honor to whom honor is due. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. You know, I felt compelled to write on behalf of Brad and Ed and all those other veterans to say this day is far more than celebration. This day we pause to pay our respect and to honor everyone who has served and sacrificed so much. We know the sacrifice and toll of battles, but I can tell you firsthand the sacrifice of serving overseas and the missed birthdays, weddings, graduations, holiday events, and other special occasions. Other friends of mine would miss the birth of a child, a baby's first step or first word, the first day of school, the first sporting event, the first concert, the first dance, and oh, so much more. And those sacrifices were most deeply felt at the holidays when you miss those family gatherings, those particular traditions dear to each of us, and oh, your favorite holiday foods. The sacrifice of not being home with family may have been the biggest of all. So even though the day will have passed when you hear or read this devotional thought from me, when you see a veteran, will you thank them? Will you thank their families for their sacrifices made both in carrying out of their duties and on the home front? Show them your love and respect by honoring them in this way. And to those veterans listening to me today, I thank you. I thank you for your service to your country and for illustrating what Christ's sacrificial and unconditional love looks like. Know that whatever you've gone through, God is near and you're never alone. Amen. Several announcements that I would like to lift up to you. Um, 
and just share with you about Wesley Church uh, and upcoming community activities. Our church conference uh, is this upcoming Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, like so many things this year, uh, this one will this meeting will be done virtually as a Zoom meeting, and you need to contact the church office to RSVP so that we can send out an email to invite you to the meeting. Uh, our collection of non-perishable food items and monetary donations for our Thanksgiving food boxes is drawing to a close. We need you to bring your items into the church by Wednesday and place them in the fellowship hall. Your monetary donations can be placed in an envelope and mark food box ministry. You may place those, um, off, those envelopes uh, in the offering plate, or you can use the drop box here at church. Certainly, uh, our COVID safety protocols continue. Please RSVP when you plan to worship uh, in person with us. And we continue to uh, live stream our services every Sunday on Facebook and YouTube at 9 a.m. Well, my friends, I enjoy uh, this special way to visit with each of you. And I'd like to close this time uh, together with a word of prayer. A word of prayer that um, lifts up our veterans, asking God's blessing, God's sustaining grace and protection with each of them. Will you pray with me? Loving God, we indeed thank you for all the brave men and women who have served this country generation after generation, and for their families who have so faithfully supported them and cared for things at home while they are gone. Help us to never take for granted either their service or their sacrifices made on our behalf that ensures us of our freedoms that we enjoy daily. Bless and protect all who have served and those who can continue to serve today all around the world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. And may God bless you. May he keep you safely in the palm of his hand. My friends, stay strong and stay safe.